Texture, whoa, fine texture. So Chunky, oh, heat man, behind the jacket. Yeah. Oh, what a ball. So, I tested this <coughs> out on different test subjects. <coughs> to spell out words during their REM state. And we actually found something astonishing. A few tests of them were actually yep. typing out full sentences that made some kind of some even typed out whole conversations they had Stanley being Powerful reference. generated by their own subconscious. It. it was like reading a dream script. It was oh so wonderful. But of course, oh. Oh, we could do better. Yeah. We first started off by producing images generated by someone's brain during their sleep. They were quite blurry and low resolution at first, but we had the knowledge and of course the budget to increase the resolution mm. and we actually got some pictures that we could easily make da -da, out da -da. what was going on eventually those images turned oh. into videos and then those videos turned into virtual reality simulations and then here you are today fully working dream simulated reality in all its glorious form I mean, at least you've got to appreciate the hard work Why are we... and the artistry that went into creating something like this. I mean, this kind of thing doesn't just happen overnight, you know. You're actually our first test subject to try out this new ba -ba 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 -ba. So, you know, if anything goes wrong, you have every right to sue us. Oh, um, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, I no will paper sign effect. You have every right not to sue us. The form you signed specifically says that Lazurve is not responsible for any mental or physical injuries sustained, but don't worry, I'm absolutely 100% sure that this experiment will go to plan. Now, you may be wondering... <laughs> Oi, Marky boy, dreams are cool and all, but, you know, what's the point? Is there any actual useful function for this technology? Well, that is a very good question to ask. And I will answer that question with a single word. Tests. You see, tests are very important, as it shows how the human brain works. Oh, child, um, and boy, the human brain gives us a lot of I things. love having an external drive, that's it. Five times larger than my main drive. Perfect. Now yeah. all you have to do is sit in that chair right there. Okay. We'll insert a chip inside your brain okay. and you'll start dreaming. Okay. Okay. Hello again. Welcome to the dream world. That's right. You're dreaming. However, this dream isn't generated by you. We designed it. A man-made dream, if you could call it that. All the rooms are elaborately planned out specifically for testing. And it is also the reason why you can hear my voice in pre-recorded voice, so I won't be able to answer any of your questions unless they've been planned out in advance. If you're wondering what you're meant to be doing right now, there should be a cube at the center of the room. Use that to get to the Red Peacock District. If you've already found it and you're swiftly flying through the puzzles, then well done. If not, you'll find it. Don't worry. Hi. 
shout on the skill. Gotta love a good shout on the skill. I love it. I love it. I love the skill. Drill is great. Breakfast. That's just to be the town of Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> One more. Oh, the first child. This one could be an abstract from religion. Oh, what? That's cheap. I oh, wasn't meant to be in the first place. You probably had an enemy. We, we. I'm taking this one. Oh, you meant to do that. communicate with your brain so I can talk to you directly. Um, that room you were just in, you know, the one with the glass box? That wasn't meant to be there. We don't recall implementing that part of the design. Hang on, what's that thing you have in your hand? Okay, I'm just gonna check the item checklist real quick. Um, no, it doesn't stay anywhere that the test subject has to pick up any device. Why don't I just type in keywords on the internet and see if I can find out where your device comes from? Aperture science? Hmm. Do you have any relation to this company? Have you seen a sign anywhere or know someone who works there? I think your subconscious may be manipulating the dream a little bit. Not to worry, at least we're back in the main room. Let me just open this door for you. Maybe try not to think about things too much. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, 
Don't worry, it's not you, it's me. Oh god, that sounds so cheesy. Um, I did a very, very, very stupid thing. I might even get fired from my own company. Oh god, what will I do then? I stated that you are dreaming. That doesn't seem like a bad thing, but if a human being is dreaming and is aware they are dreaming, they become lucid and can practically do whatever the hell they like. Sometimes they manipulate dreams without even realizing it. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Okay, I need to think. I need to think. Okay. I think I have a... Good morning. You must be test subject number 2839. You probably don't know where you are, but I do, and I'm not telling you. Haha. -ha. Here are some doors, please walk into one of them. Okay. Well done. You made a choice. Now, here are some doors labeled with different colors. Please walk into a door with your favorite color on it. Which color did you pick? Guess what? I don't care. Now, here are some doors labeled with different foods. Please walk into a door with your favorite food on it. Old chicken, yes. Which food did you pick? Guess what? I don't care. Congratulations. You completed the program. I guess that's it. We don't need you anymore. Goodbye. Subconscious difficulties. This place will self-destruct in T minus two minutes and thirty seconds. Find self-destruct subconscious. Calm and evacuate the building as quickly as possible. What? Oh, 
don't care. Though. Okay. Yeah, this is fun. City or something. No, nope, it's Doom or Minecraft. That's what. Concrete. Concrete. Small light. Very, very small light.
Thank you for volunteering for the Reserve Rapid Eye Simulation Experiment. We hope you've enjoyed your session. Now I have to reveal that everything you just experienced was all intentional. In fact, it went exactly as we planned it. You see, we did a background check on you, and we found out that you had previously volunteered for a long time at another scientific company. Aperture Laboratories. After finding this out, we researched into how they laid out their test chambers and made their equipment, and simply incorporated it into the design. Some things weren't completely accurate, but since it was a dream, we just let your brain do the rest. But I have to ask, did something happen while you were working there? Because we found out that whenever the name was mentioned or you interacted with something related to it, your adrenaline and cortisol levels increased rapidly. But the strange thing is, is that when you were holding that portal device, your dopamine levels increased. Very interesting. But that is why we do what we do at Reserve. This is We don't want to redo the, the elevator thing, so we had to go like a super so sweet teleport. Okay. Thank you. Again. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. Okay. In compliance with state and federal regulations. That's so weird. Okay, epic. 